What's up guys, this is Mert Music, and welcome back to Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Remastered. I've got some more highlights from the early creator session that we had on H2M, and I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video knows that OG Modern Warfare 2 plus Search and Destroy equals trick shotting. So we summon phase boost and hit some dank shots, bro. So yeah, man, in this video, I'm gonna have those trick shotting Search and Destroy highlights, but I'm also gonna share some other stuff about H2M with you guys. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you wanna see some more OG Call of Duty stuff, and enjoy. I right, trick okay, shot last. Oh, 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 okay. Roy. Yo. Wow, Captain Price, what the f you guys are going against the sweat right now? Oh no, I can't get up. Yeah, <laughs> Movement oh, yeah, king. <laughs> <laughs> no, no yeah. triple. When I'm to go for the spawn shot, I will uh, kill him. Oh, I'm scared. That no scope went right in the f***ing center. Oh my god. Wait, Merc, you're, you're in the, the wrong sick, call. Dude. I'm in the wrong. Thanks for the call. I might have been in the wrong call. I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I in the wrong call right now? Oh, last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Yo, yo, he's chill. He's chill. <laughs> he's chill. He's chill. He doesn't no, have a functioning wait. brain. We've taken the Target lead. Neutralized. Oh, no. Oh, he hit. Oh, no. He got Let's kicked. Right. Oh, wait, what? He's not chill. One and done. One and done. One and done. Oh, wait. No, these guys are both no, right. You're getting into the situation. No, no. The ninja defuse. Hang on. Wait a minute. The ninja? No. The no ninja defuse. Right? No, no way. Oh Wait, that's crazy! Oh my God. Damn! <laughs> you gotta watch oh, the ball. Left side, left side. Oh, I'm terrified. One and done. One and done. One and done. done. Wait, oh my God! Last, 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 last. Oh, he's... Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Side, ladies, side. Side. ladies first. Ladies first. Bro, I don't. What the? Dude, f I cannot jump on this. I can't. I cannot make that jump, bro. What was this? He's chill. He's chill. He's chill. He's chill. <laughs> if, that been, if that would have hit, if that would have hit, me and my two dude. sensitivity trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's all about. No, no, you got this. Right here, right here, right here. This is the one. No. <laughs> oh I've got God. steady aim on too, dude. It's gonna happen. Let's do this. Get the, the camera on. Mm, okay, bro. He's, he's doing. Oh yeah. Ooh. I like this. Merc's got the 1080 on <laughs> zero off. Reloading. Oh my God. Brandon, do the zoom reload. No. Oh, no, he's not chill. Okay, he, not? he's no, he's no scoping. He's chill. He's chill. Yeah. Now we get to see Brandon, a good trick. Nope. <laughs> oh, what? He's locked. He's hitting this. Oh. <laughs> is, is this going to four or six? Oh, I don't know. It's a four. four. I think it's four. six. It's a four. It's a okay, it's OG Wait. then. If we need extra time, I can back. lay it at B or some shit. Reloading. Oh. Dude, I was not expecting Simon. All right, one and done. Last. 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 That's the first trick shot. That was still clean. Is that a Where record for he? Hubert? <laughs> hey, Hubert, let's go. We should do high rise S and D, but just go for spawn shot. Jesus. Oh, that was just uneven. Spawn <laughs> shot, spawn <laughs> shot into trick shots. Yeah. That shit is so, it's so nice. It's so nice. Doomsday's in bonus. Yeah, that one's, that one's sick. That one's when you guys plan on adding in the quartermaster and supply drops, but now that's a supply drop. <laughs> Good day, flashy mammals. <laughs> I was streaming some X Defiant yesterday. And I had just added like some AI text to speech shit to the stream. It had like fucking Patrick Starr going, Oh, come Tringle Boom. It's incredible, dude. Right, you guys can hop on the server right now, by what the way. What the f? Right. Oh, possible. Awesome. Oh, I don't have audio. Can you. Wait, uh, one shot, one shot, one shot. Yeah, wait. wait. Oh, oh, bro. 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 bro! Dude, I was at the triple I head. The triple head. <laughs> I thought I had it. I'm in front. Don't reset it. I yet. think we're, we're missing. <laughs> Don't, Don't reset, reset it. it. <laughs> wait 10 seconds. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot. Hit the quad, hit the quad, hit the quad. Oh my god, it's so light up. Oh. Oh. Okay. No! Oh. No! This could be the greatest moment. Oh, he's on the green! No! Oh. oh my god, who's running around with models? Oh, he's got a blast. I haven't killed Jesus. Him. No. I didn't know it was the last. It all happened so fast. Fix one blast and I'll be good to go. You said you can leave, Ridge. Hit marker, no. Oh, oh, oh I got a trip. Damn. You said you can leave, Ridge. Hit marker, no. Oh, 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 we're going to have to deal with Scope and Roy, but other than that, we should be all right. Someone went under. Someone went Ooh. under. Ooh. What was that? Uh, it was a uh, single collab. No, I'm just trying to get up the crane. I'm just no. uh, he's yeah, he's, ho he's top. He's top heli. He's top heli. Nice. Yeah, he's still top heli. He's still there. 
Oh, dude, no. good try, good try. What if? That time. I'll, I'll dummy for him. I'll dummy for him. No, at least no scope him. Well, yeah. Oh! oh. What? Did it? No, no shot. No way. no way! No way! Did Mike actually just hit that? No way he... He... <laughs> set. Oh, oh, I mean, oh, that's still too. pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Damn, Damn Mike, you didn't have to do me like that. What the fuck? Cold-blooded scrambler, Barrett. What is this class? Is, is this a default? This isn't a default class. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Holy f What? <laughs> what <is that>? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Good old Barrett spray. I, I'm, oh. <laughs> yeah, you have to on top of belly. It's last. Oh, Brian's not going oh! to do that. Oh! <laughs> Oh, nice. What? <laughs> I went up and it pushed me down. Oh, that's crazy. All right, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the Search and Destroy trick shotting highlights. Now we're back on H2M and it feels good to be back on this game. And I want to just share some more info about the H2M client with you guys because that video blew up. There were so many different comments and I want to try to address as many different things as I can. Now, right off the bat, as you can see, I'm 10th prestige level 72. I believe there is going to be prestige master, but I think when the servers go live, everyone is going to be reset back to level one. As far as I'm aware, I'm not being given any special treatments. So I'm going to have to grind just as much as everyone else if I want to level up and be able to play the mod but there are some pretty interesting things to note when it comes to progression on h2m i want to try to find a gun that might not really be leveled up or have that much stuff unlocked maybe the f2000 it really wasn't that loved back then yeah okay so everything is locked for the f2000 now if we look at the challenges i'm pretty sure they might have tweaked the progression so if you want to get your attachments unlocked you only need like 10 kills to get a red dot sight 20 kills for a suppressor 30 kills for acog i mean ultimately to get extended mags you only need 70 kills and i i believe the h2m team might have actually tweaked these values so that way you can progress a little bit faster it's a really nice middle ground between having to do a ton of grinding versus, you know, just having unlock all and then not having to do anything at all, except for just type in one command. And I'm pretty sure this also carries over to camo unlocks as well. At least I think so. I mean, to get gold camo unlocked for the F2000, you have to get 45 headshots. I'm not exactly sure if we have to get headshot kills for every single assault rifle, but that's how it was back in the original Modern Warfare 2. And I, that might be part of the camo grind here as well. For the solid camo challenges, you have to get 160 kills. So, I mean, you don't have to do anything too crazy for that. You can play however you want. For polyatomic camo, it's also just getting kills so you get basically two different types of camos just by playing the game and it's actually the same thing for the animated camos too so you actually get three sets of camos at basically roughly 180 kills or so but when it comes to this final set of bonus camos you basically just have to earn five nukes and you can unlock doomsday camo which looks awesome and then there's also this special sore camo which you get for getting i think 10 collats so that's basically how the weapon attachment progression and camo progression is going to work for the client now i did mention this in the last video but i just wanted to clarify this again in case anyone might have missed it but this client h2m is is going to be fully releasing on PC only on August 16th. And in order to play this game, you have to own Modern Warfare Remastered on Steam, and the game is currently half off. I've got the Modern Warfare Remastered page pulled up on Steam right now, and if you scroll down, the game is going to be 50% off until August 14th, which is just two days before H2M drops. So honestly, that's some amazing COD timing, and if you're thinking about wanting to pick this up and play it, obviously it's going to be a really good choice if you want to play the H2M mod. But aside from that as well, Modern Warfare Remastered is actually kind of booming, Ooh. even for just the base game. So if you're someone who bought Infinite Warfare comboed with Modern Warfare Remastered on PC back then, but you didn't really get to play MWR because it was honestly kind of dead at launch. If we look at the Modern Warfare Remastered Steam charts in the last month, it basically has been averaging roughly 30-ish players or so, but that number has shot up to a couple hundred now. So honestly, the matchmaking is kind of back on PC, which is really cool to see. It's obviously not like thousands and thousands of people playing, but we could get those numbers up if people are interested in checking this out. And the main reason I'm mentioning buying Modern Warfare Remastered on Steam is because I want to address the elephants in the room, which is what so many people were commenting on the last video, which is about the concerns of Activision potentially shutting down this project, which I don't think is going to happen necessarily because in order to play the H2M mod, in order to play Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered, you have to buy Modern Warfare remastered on Steam. There's no other way around it. You have to own the game. That's not to say that they can't shut down this project, and I'm sure if they really wanted to, they probably could. But from my understanding, this project is not being handled like SM2. It's not being handled like some of the other projects like Advanced Warfare, where you could unlock basically all of the micro DLC in the game at the click of a button. That's not how this project is being treated. So again, I'm not saying that the project can't be shut down. I'm just saying that its chances of survival are looking a lot better this time around because the team has learned a lot from those past mistakes. And the next thing I want to talk about is the fact that one man army noob tubes got patched with H2M. Some people believe that this means that this is no longer Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered in their eyes because if the game was true to the original, you would be able to noob tube to your heart's content. And honestly, 
I think that's just a load of bullshit. <laughs> Look, man, I understand that the OG Modern Warfare 2 has this reputation of being this crazy, broken, over-the-top, but fun and goofy Call of Duty multiplayer experience, right? And that is still very much present here in H2M. That hasn't gone anywhere. They just made one specific tweak to a broken class and broken playstyle that honestly ruins the original Modern Warfare 2. And apparently, the original team actually had plans to patch it, but more than half of the original Infinity War team ended up leaving back then, so they never got to push this patch out and fix one one man army. So the H2M team decided to take it upon themselves to fix one man army for this specific remaster. That's their opinion. It's their decision. And I do personally agree with this change, especially because this is not an official Call of Duty game. If it was and people were paying money for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered as a brand new game, then yes, I would expect them to leave the game basically the same as it was before. But even then, with Modern Warfare Remastered's multiplayer back then, they didn't even keep that fully intact. They added DLC guns, there were supply drops. So even then, the game was not fully kept intact, you know what I mean? And you know what? MWR was an amazing experience for what it was. It wasn't obviously a one-to-one -one remaster. It wasn't perfect and it didn't get everything right, but it was still an amazing remastered Call of Duty experience, much like this is from the H2M team. Now, obviously you don't have to agree with me on this. We all have our own opinions, but ultimately this is H2M. This is the team's project and this is the direction that they wanted to go in. And if you want to use one man army noob tubes with danger close and be a complete asshole, go back to the original Modern Warfare 2 where you can still do that. No one's going to stop you. Because once you start to do that, everyone's going to leave the game and quit, which is exactly what happened back then. If we want H2M to survive, if we want this clients to have a chance, we have to fix the broken garbage that ruins it back then. At least to a degree. I mean, you can still go out here and noob tube with danger close, and you can still royally piss people off by doing that. So it's not like you're completely nerfed into the ground. I mean, dude, even this class right here would be such a pain in the ass to have to deal with because we can resupply RPGs and grenade launchers and Simtexes just with Scavenger Pro. Now, obviously the servers are not online yet, but they do have some bot servers running, and I think we might be able to actually progress. Now to quickly answer some other questions that people had, yes, there is full controller support for this game and there is aim assist as well. I'm currently enjoying it. You can play this keyboard and mouse as well, but one thing I do want to clarify is that obviously this is not available on console. A project like this, these modded clients, they can only exist on PC. And I know that's obviously a bummer to people who play on console, but that's just how it is. As far as I'm aware, there's absolutely no way to release projects like this on console. That's how it's always been and that's how it always will be. I have seen some people saying that they want to pick up a PC just to play this, which is pretty insane. Oh, it's ready over. Wow, that was fast. Hold up, I think we got 9v9 Damo and Favela. But like I said in the last video, once this client is fully available, I'm gonna make a tutorial so I can teach you guys how to actually get this. If you are wanting to play the client though, I would highly recommend picking up Modern Warfare Remastered while it's half off. If you actually go ahead and buy the Steam version of the game, it shows Activision that we do still care about these older Call of Duty games and that we will buy them and support them. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the audio right now, but I do know that there's going to be some other tweaks coming to H2M as well. They said that there was going to be some massive lighting improvements. I can show some of those pictures on screen right now, and honestly, I think the lighting changes look really good. A lot of the maps seem to have more vibrancy and contrast, and they're doing an amazing job with it. Wait, I gotta drop a nuke on these bots for you guys. Hold up. Yeah, on, I don't know what's going on with the audio right now. <laughs> oh, we got a pave low. I forgot I'm not running a chopper or a AC-130. Dude, Harrier pave low is honestly... Oh, kind of an insane combo. I've also seen some people ask, will this have skill-based matchmaking? Which, which at first does kind of sound like a ridiculous question, but I do understand people's concerns. And you won't have to worry, this game will not have skill-based matchmaking because you have to connect to specific servers. H2M is just like the other modded clients on PC. They don't have a quick play function. There is no skill-based matchmaking. You have to connect to a specific server. And since the game has a server browser, you get to pick exactly what you want to play. Oh my god, what is happening? Nuke is bugging the game out. Oh my god. There you go. We got Nuke Master 2. <laughs> Dang, man. We went 48 to 5. These guys are a bunch of bots. Am I right? <laughs> That joke was so bad, it made my game crash. We have an update. Update requires restart. <laughs> for some reason, my H2M is having like a 10 gig download right now, but that's basically going to do it for my H2M Q&A section of this video. If you guys do have any more questions, you can obviously leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to try to answer them either in the comment section or in an upcoming video. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play some more Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more OG COD stuff, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Tranquil.